Patriots. Today is a marvelous Monday, April 5th. Let's start the morning by opening our minds by being helpful with Mrs. King. Take it away, Mrs. King. Hi, Patriots. It's Mrs. King with Mindful Monday. We've been practicing our mindfulness all year, doing our deep breathing, concentrating on things that we see in the room, even listening to things so that we can be mindful about what we hear. But we're going to be starting testing soon. And testing is a great time to use mindfulness. A lot of times we get nervous, especially around big tests like FSA. And so that's a great time for us to stop, take some deep breaths, close your eyes, and really think about calming your brain and body so that you can do your best on the test. So here's a little video to talk about what happens when we are going to take a test and we're a little bit nervous or anxious about it. It's normal to feel anxious before a test, presentation, or when you are writing a paper. You might feel anxious, jittery, or your mind might go blank while you're testing. Afterwards, you might leave feeling wiped out and feeling certain you didn't do well. Your mind might go through the test over and over, rehashing all of your answers. Experiencing this anxiety may leave you feeling like you didn't have a fair opportunity to demonstrate everything you knew on the test, and that can be frustrating. Dr. Cian Bylock, in her book, Choke, talks about reasons why test anxiety can get in the way of our performance. When people start to worry excessively, it robs them of brain power, particularly working memory. Working memory is like your personal post-it note. We stick information on it for temporary storage while we are working through an answer on a test. But when we experience test anxiety, our mind can get clogged up with worries. Worrying triggers our fight or flight response and a cascade of stress hormones, which further compromise our abilities to read and respond to the exam in a calm way. So there is a lot of things going on in your brain, especially when you're trying to use it to take a test. And this little guy pops up and flips your lid so that you can't think. So if you're taking the test, make sure that you can put down your pencil. If you start feeling a little nervous, you take a couple of deep breaths so that you can get back to work. So your brain can flip back on and you can put this guy back to sleep again. So practice your mindfulness during testing. It's really important and it can really help. They found through studies that kids that practice mindfulness when they were feeling anxious during tests had their scores go up. So try it out, and good luck on any tests that are coming up soon. And I'll see you on the next Mindful Monday. Thanks, Miss Keen. Patriots, keeping mindful and open-minded, not just today, but every day. Let's talk birthdays. We have one birthday today. Happy birthday to Kaimani S. and Mrs. Opitz class. And lunch news today. Today we are having CB and J sandwich, cheese snack combo, tangerine chicken with salmon noodles. The vegetable and fruit choices are cucumber dippers, garlic roasted broccoli, a fresh orange, peach cup, or juice. Wednesday is early release day. Don't forget school ends two hours early on Wednesday. All of our third graders on Wednesday taking the FSA. You all are going to do great. Remember that April's learner profile is open-minded. This month is also Autism Awareness Month. Every Monday in April, we are blue to celebrate some awesomeness of our friends with autism. Check out the video on our very own FTC class here at Pineview. Good morning. Mrs. Godfrey here from Pineview Elementary School. I'm the behavior specialist in our social behavior communication program. You may have seen us walking around the campus. I work with children on the autism spectrum disorder. Well, what is autism, you might ask? It is something that affects your five senses. It could affect them all or one or two. It, it just depends on what type of spectrum of the autism um, you are on. So you don't necessarily have to be in our program in order to have autism. Even famous um, 
people have autism, like Albert Einstein. He was a math genius. Oh my goodness. But he was on the autism spectrum disorder. Well, our students, you might have a lot of questions about because it might seem odd to see or hear the, see them flapping their hands or hear them making odd noises. Well, if you have any questions, a genuine question is not a bad question. You can write your questions down on a piece of paper. We are about the questions, aren't we? So write your questions down, give it to your teacher and your teacher will put it in my mailbox and we can answer those questions. I can't wait to talk to you more in the month of April about autism awareness. Bye. That is one of the great things about Pineview. We have so many awesome things going on here at school every day. Stay tuned every Monday for more exciting news about our SBC friends. Well, that wraps up today's show for today, Patriots. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Have a marvelous Monday, and remember, we are living the questions in person and virtually. Bye. Bye. Bye.